So for question number 10, L1 and L2 are in parallel. Upon solving, this is the expression for current that we get, basic LR circuit. Now since L1 and L2 are in parallel, we have another relation. L1 di1 by dt equals to L2 di2 by dt. This, was, this would yield us I1 by I2 as L2 by L1. Using this inverse relationship, we can establish all the three answers, that is A, B, and C. In the question number 12, we are asked to find uh, potential difference between point xy, yz, and zx. Here value of vx, vy, and vz are given in the question itself. By seeing the phase difference between vx and vy and vz and vy, we can draw their phasors as shown in the diagram. Now clearly it can be said that phase difference between vx and vy is 2 pi by 3 and phase difference between vz and vy must be 4 pi by 3 minus 2 pi by 3 that is 2 pi by 3. That means each phasor vector of this phasor diagram is making 120 degree from each other. Now we have to find difference of Vx and Vy, difference of Vy and Vz and difference of Vz and Vx. By vector subtraction we can easily say that difference, magnitude of the difference will be equal to the length joining head of the Vx vector and Vy vector. In the same manner, this will represent Vxy maximum value of Vxy obviously. If Vx, Vy and Vz are maximum value then. Now the head joining Vy vector and Vz vector will give the maximum value of potential difference between Y and Z. In the same manner, head joining Z and X will give potential difference between Z and X. Therefore, since this angle is 2 pi by 3, that means 120 degree, we can find difference between Vx and Vz using the property of isosceles triangle. Now, since this is V0 and this is isosceles triangle, this angle, this angle is 120 degree, therefore this angle is 60 degree. That means this value is root 3 V0 by 2 and therefore the total length joining the head of the Vx and Vy will be root 3 V0. Since diagram is symmetric, each vector is making same angle with other vector. Therefore, it is clear that well, difference of uh, Vy and Vx will also be root 3 V0 and difference between Y and Z will also be root 3 V0. This is the maximum value of difference. That means RMS value of difference V RMS between XY, V RMS between yz and v rms between zx will be same and it will be equal to root 3 v0 by 2 that is half of the maximum value therefore according to these answers we can find we can get the final answer of the question is option c which is independent of the choice of the two terminals which can be easily seen by this diagram and another is option d the correct answer is C and D.